In this video we're going to consider the following problem. We have a, a transformation t from r2 to r2 that we know is linear and we know that t of negative 1, 2 is 5, 1, t of 3, 2 is um, negative 2, 4. And what we'd like to do is figure out t of negative 9, 2. Now what we know is that if we have any two vectors um, in R2 that are not scalar multiples of each other, so for example if we look at these two vectors, negative 1, 2, and 3, 2, those two are not scalar multiples of each other, so uh, they form a basis for R2, which means that any vector in R2 can be made as a linear combination of those two vectors. So our vector negative 9, 2, um, we should be able to write then as a linear combination of negative 1, 2, and, and 3, 2. So let's see how we do that. Um, what we want to do is take our vector negative 9, 2, and we write it as a linear combination of those other two vectors. So we have a C1 times negative 1, 2, plus a C2 times 3, 2. And we've solved this type of problem many times during the term. Um, what we find is that our solution in this case comes out to be C1 equals 3 and C2 is negative 2. And that can be easily verified uh, by just looking at this and, and making those multiplications in our heads. So now that we know that, um, what we know is that negative 9, 2 is equal to 3 times negative 1, 2 plus negative 2 times 3, 2. So we can use that fact along with the linearity of t in order to find t of negative 9, 2. So t of negative 9, 2 is equal to t of the above linear combination, 3 times negative 1, 2 plus negative 2 times 3, 2. Now, at this point, we can apply the linearity properties of the transformation T as follows. So the first linearity property tells us that the transformation of a sum is the sum of the transformations. So this becomes T of 3, negative 1, 2, plus T of negative 2, times 3, 2. So what we've, what we've used there is this fact. Uh, let me see. Let me get back in my parenthesis here. So from here to here, we've used the fact that t of u plus v equals t of u plus t of v if a transformation is linear. And then what we want to do next is use the, um, the property of, of, tra of linear transformations relating to scalars. So we now get 3 times t of negative 1, 2 plus negative 2 times t of 3, 2. And those are the two vectors that we were given the action of t on. So we were given that t of negative 1, 2 is equal to 5, 1. And t of 3, 2 is equal to negative 2, 4. So um, at this point, let me, let me go back here and point out that then on this step what we used is that t of a scalar times u is equal to the scalar times t of u. Okay, so that's our other linearity problem. And now all we have left to do is, is to compute this linear combination here. 
you can see we have 3 times 5 plus negative 2 times negative 2, so that will be 15 plus 4, so we get 19. And then for the second components, we have 3 plus negative 8, so we get negative 5 there. So that's our final result, and that shows how um, if we know the action of a linear transformation on two basis vectors, then we can find its action on any vector in the subspace um, spanned by those basis vectors.